in terms of the scheme, I suppose you've already alluded to some of these points already, but what, what do you like most about the scheme? Um, both, uh, well, start with uh, you two as teachers. What do you two like most about the scheme? I would say the smart notebook is really, really good and they absolutely love coming up, moving things around, um, seeing what's going to be next. And sometimes it's base 10, sometimes it's picture of apples and you just, they never know what's coming next. Um, so they really, really do enjoy it. And also the kit boxes work really well. Um, and they love choosing their own things out of those and choosing what they want to use to help them with their learning. I think, that, so I think that's, that's quite cool. nice. Sorry, Andrew, just quite no, put it in on, there. Charlotte. I was just going to say that's about their independence. They're, um, you know, choosing and making decisions about what's most appropriate to support them with that understanding of, of yeah. that lesson itself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I was just going to say exactly the same, you know, they, they can choose whether to use base 10 or the um, the tens and one counters or the cubes or they can, you know, they can be an independent and kind of individual with what, what they want to use as well. Um, and my, I would say personally, I like the fact that you start off with a problem and the children know that it starts with a problem and they have to solve that problem straight away and they, they really like that. And then obviously through the problem, you then access the actual learning objective for the lesson. Um, but I love the deeper learning, um, you know, the the actual reason inside of that and the variation um, of the questions. <laughs> Get the right uh, vocabulary in there now. <laughs> the uh -huh. variation of the questions and the fact it's interactive, like Beth said, they love coming to the front and, uh, you know, getting involved with the smart notebook. Um, and obviously we have been sat in pairs this year. Normally we'd be in groups, wouldn't we, like, you know, working together. But it has been a little bit different this year in pairs, but they've enjoyed working in partners as well. Yeah. Very good. Um, I mean, you might have met, you've mentioned some things already about what the children might be liking about the scheme. Um, have they mentioned anything particularly that they like about uh, the maths lessons in this style? Yeah, so I asked a few of mine what they liked about it. Um, one of them said that they liked um, the fact that you revisit things at the start of the lesson in the starters to, le to like recap the learning, the previous learning. Right. Um, another child said that they love getting onto deeper learning because they feel like they've really achieved the lesson. Um, and then another child said that they liked the guided learning before the independent because they liked having my help and support with that bit to give them that confidence to then go on to the independent learning where they do it on their own. And then my children said that they like using the kit boxes because we get to use different things like 10 frames. Um, I like the math sheets because there's some tricky problems to solve. I like the deeper learning because it's a challenge and I like it because we can use the big screen and move things on the board. I wrote it as they said it. <laughs> How satisfying is that, um, Charlotte, as subject leader and Charlotte as head teacher, hearing from a, a, a key stage one child I like the sheets because there's some tricky problems on there. What a fantastic quote from uh, from a, a year one child. Mm. Great to hear. We definitely promote a love of maths in, in this school and a can-do approach to maths. And, you know, Charlotte, as maths leader, has been really proactive in, in showing that ethos is spread across the whole school. Nobody dreads maths at Edenfield or has that, oh, no, I can't do maths. It's, it's too tricky. We have a really positive approach to maths and make it fun and exciting as well. Those All those other important uh, learning strands that the ladies have uh, spoken about. <laughs> That's great to hear. And it is, it is a team effort, isn't it? So the, uh, the subject leader supporting all colleagues, um, even if they don't have the materials yet, it's still instilling that, um, that, that love of maths, that love of um, learning, that appreciation that's fine, isn't it? You know, we, mm. we, that's how we get better at things. And yeah. hopefully that's what you are seeing in Key Stage 1 when using the, those Red Rose materials. Um, and promote, oh sorry I didn't mean to interrupt promoting that culture of how exciting to have a problem and we have to yeah. solve that um, and it's that that culture that they see not 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 to be intimidated by that or frightened by that but actually having that sort of like surge of um, I suppose excitement and surge of determination to get to the answer and um, some healthy competition between pairs and groups 